Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be drawing the main character from the game Darksiders, also known as Darksiders Wrath of War. Uh, and that main character, of course, is War. Go figure, huh? Anyway, this game was launched in January 2010. I played it, I finished it, I really liked it. Very cool game, mostly because of the theme. Like, I'll get into the theme later and the plot and everything. But the game is basically a hack and slash action adventure uses the same engine as Prototype, which was also a very cool game. Uh, it was published by the same company that published Space Marine, which is THQ. So, um, yeah, the game was pretty well rated, and it was received with pretty positive critique. Um, plot was very well developed. Char character design, see, that's the thing, that, that's where it's at. Character design was freaking amazing in this game. I really, really enjoyed, like... The visuals, the actual visuals of the characters, the monsters, the boss fights, everything was really cool. So um, that's a big plus to Vigil Games for uh, for having such good character design. Of course, elements were taken from other games, like I think Samael, which was uh, an aid of wars, looked very much like the Lich, well, reminded very much of the Lich, not the Lich King, but what's it called? Kel'Thuzad from uh, World of Warcraft. But anyway, you know, it's pointless getting into details and nitpicking like that. It, overall, the game has a really nice atmosphere, uh, a lot of cool elements about it. Like, you, you get a mount at some point and you can run around and have new attacks and get, like, combos and stuff and bonuses. And uh, the guy uses souls as currency. How cool is that? I would like to use uh, people's souls as currency in real life as well. It would make living lots more fun. But anyway, it doesn't matter what I want. It matters what I'm drawing. So, I've gotten a few requests for drawing this character. And even though I usually don't take suggestions because they're stupid and annoying most of the time. I I was planning on drawing this guy anyway, so I went ahead and did it. It's, uh, I really had a like a special connection with this game, so to say. I don't know why, I usually don't even like games like this, you know, I never get myself to finish them. But this one I finished in like 2-3 days or something, which is way less than what I usually take to finish a game like this. So I really liked it. I can't really put my finger on what it was, but I definitely recommend it to anyone that, would, that thinks they would enjoy a game of this genre anyway. So basically, the deal with this character is as follows. The end is coming, yeah? Speaking of 2012, that, that's completely unrelated. The thing is, Armageddon has started, right? Like, heaven and hell are fighting, and they're kicking each other's asses, and there needs to be someone to sort of mediate, like a referee. And that referee happens, in this imaginary universe, to be the Charred Council. And the Charred Council are the bosses of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. So, unlike their original purpose, which is stated in the New Testament, I think. They're, um, the purpose in this game is for them to sort of balance out the fight between heaven and hell, because the job of the Chart Council was to maintain balance on Earth. So, there was this whole story with, like, seals being broken and some other crap. I don't really remember. It's been, like, a year since I played it. But, um, basically, war is sent to Earth to, um, Make up for... Oh my god, seriously. Wikipedia is shit when it comes to... I couldn't find, like, info about this crap. Like, very good info. But from what I can remember, it's like this. He... Something bad happened to him. And he was sent to Earth to sort of... Like a mercenary, if you will. He has to take out a few key uh, bosses and characters to maintain this so-called balance. So he, unfortunately, is alone. He doesn't have his compadres, the other three horsemen. And you start out the game with uh, just your sword and, like, very limited combos. And as the game progresses, you unlock more weapons and more combos and more cool abilities. Like, the combos are really nice and just the animation of how you slaughter these newbies in game is really cool. So, again, it's all but praise for this game, from my part at least. Of course, it crashed a few times, but hey, what you gonna do? Shit happens, right? So anyway, the whole theme revolves around the battle between heaven and hell, and you're kind of stuck in the middle, and you're all pissed off, so you just kill everyone, which is a perfect plot for me, because I like just slaughtering shit. So you go around, you kill, you shoot, you know, you're not uh, limited to just your 
melee weapons. You get like a gun at some point as well. And the game has boss fights too, which are pretty challenging, I would have to say, compared to most uh, run of the mill hack and slash adventure games. So. If you still haven't played it, then you should. But for me, what mattered the most, as I said, is uh, just character design. Which was spot on. I suppose I should talk a bit about where this character originated from, which is the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. So I would first and foremost like to welcome everyone to Zook's Bible study class. This is not going to be a regular thing. <laughs> really, it won't be. But it should be uh, pretty, pretty interesting for Christians and non-Christians alike. For me it was, and I'm not a Christian, so whatever. Here goes nothing. The four horsemen, they are present and described in the, um, in the last book of the New Testament, more precisely the book of Revelation. So they are basically sent to earth to bring the apocalypse. Therefore, they are called the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Ta-da! Now, anyway, they are as follows. Conquest, war, famine, and death. And I'm going to describe each and every one in a short passage and give, like, uh, a quote from the Bible. Fuck yes, I'm quoting the Bible in my drawing video. Who does that, right? So the first one is Conquest. He rides a white horse, and he is associated, unlike war, he is associated with military conquest. So he just represents the military side of war. And this is his quote. I watched as the Lamb opened the first of the seven seals. Again, a reference. The seven seals were present in the game as well. Then I heard one of the four living creatures say in a voice like thunder, Come and see. I looked, and there before me was a white horse. Its rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out as a conqueror bent on conquest. The second rider is war, and he rides a red horse. He also carries a sword, which is, again, faithful to the game. Or the other way around, rather. The game is faithful to its image in, um, in the Bible. This guy represents civil war and violence. So, nothing related to the military side of, of conflicts. This is his quote. When the Lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come and see. Then another horse came out, a fiery red one. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to make men slay each other. To him was given a large sword. The third one is Famine. And Famine, I think you can understand what he does, what his deal is, what his hobbies are. He just starves people. And he rides a uh, black horse, right? Yeah, a black horse, and he also carries scales, which is what was used to measure like food and stuff. And this is his quote. When the lamb opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, come and see. I looked and there before me was a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. Then I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures saying, a quart of wheat for a day's wages and three quarts of barley for a day's wages. Do not, and do not damage the oil and the wine. And the fourth rider, which is the coolest one, is Death. He rides a pale green horse. He carries around a sickle and he is depicted as a skeleton. And apparently he also has Hades following him around like a little bitch. And this is his quote. When the lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come and see. I looked and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death and Hades was following close behind him. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. How cool must it be to be one of these guys? Hey, what do you do? I'm death, motherfucker. Hey, w what's your job? I'm war. Yeah, it's freaking awesome, right? I'm sure, uh, sure it's fiction, but it's like, it's still awesome, in my opinion. I don't care what you say. So anyway... That was where the characters come from, and I, I think it's a very cool story in a non-sarcastic way. Now let's talk about the drawing. I did this in one go, took about five and a half hours, used uh, my new pencils and my old pencils and a mix of everything, but I did it on my old paper. And I think just there's a deal with this paper. It doesn't, things don't appear as contrasted as they do on my, uh, on my new pad, which is what I drew the Witch Doctor on. So, I don't know. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna use the new pad for a while and see if I like it. And uh, what else can I say? I used the reference and I did some improvs on it as, as per usual, as I like to do. And um, 
that is about it. I have no more information. Hell, I've done so many drawing videos, I really don't know what to talk about. It's like, I'm not gonna say, okay, start with a circle, and I'll make the square, because that's, you know, it's just not how it is. That's not how I draw. You know, I just draw. That's what I do. So I'm afraid I can't give any educational information about the drawing other than it's from a video game and it's nice and I like it and the character is cool and the story is even cooler. So that's about all the info I can give. But I'm glad you you stuck around for Zook's Religious Studies podcast and <laughs> please rate this video if you liked it and I'll see you for my next, uh, hopefully not, Bible study class. See you around, guys. Bye-bye.